Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 2nd of 2023. Well, it is titled Milky Way and Aurora over Antarctica. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken showing at the bottom we see part of the landscape there in Antarctica. And we uh, see, uh, of course, some people there. And why do we look at the sky there? Well, a couple of things. First of all, it's very cold. And that means that the atmosphere is generally relatively stable. And you can get nice clear images of the sky when you don't get the turbulence that is associated with the warmer weather at higher latitude at, at the more equatorial latitudes. So here we see a distinct image of our Milky Way and you can see that stretching up. And if you stretch up far enough, you see that you reach the ground again. Now, how do you get an image like that? Well, the camera is actually pointing straight up. So you look straight up and have the sky there. And if you have a very wide angle lens, you actually pick up both sides of the ground. So you'll pick up one side there at the bottom, as you'd expect. But you're also picking up the other side. So you can kind of imagine this if you take this image and hold it up over your head, then the middle part would be what you'd be looking at straight up and it would wrap around down to the horizon on either side of you. Now the Milky Way is of course our galaxy as we see it from within. We've seen many images of galaxies. When we look at a spiral galaxy such as ours, we generally see the swirling spiral arms. However, when you look here, you don't see those spiral arms because we are looking at our galaxy from an edge on view, meaning that we're not seeing it face on. We'd have to travel well outside our galaxy to look back to be able to see that. So we see this much as we would see an edge on galaxy. And in fact, it looks much like many of the other galaxies that we see from that kind of view. Now, the Milky Way is not the only galaxy in this image. Up toward the upper uh, right hand side, we see two other small, small galaxies. And those are the Magellanic Clouds. Those are two uh, satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way, which orbit around our Milky Way, much as planets orbit around our sun. So we see those here. Now those are only visible from very far southerly latitudes, uh, very far north of the equator. They simply do not never get up in the sky. They never rise up above the horizon and therefore cannot be seen. Now the other thing we see is the aurora and you can see the aurora especially toward the top and a little bit of it toward the bottom as well. The aurora is caused when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field, funnel around it toward the magnetic poles, and then strike Earth's atmosphere and excite the atoms within it. And depending on the atoms being excited and where they are located in the upper atmosphere, we can get the greenish glow of, hydro of oxygen uh, atoms in the atmosphere. And the red can sometimes be due to oxygen at a dip when the density is a little bit different than it is for the typical green. We're used to seeing a lot of the green, but we can also see some of the red emission as well. Now, when we look at the aurora, we notice that we can see it very close to either of the magnetic poles. So while many of our images are from the northern hemisphere and we see the aurora from places like Alaska in Canada and Scandinavia, we can get a similar effect on the opposite side of the Earth near the Antarctic regions near the South Magnetic Pole. So that was our picture of the day for July 2nd of 2023. It was titled Milky Way and Aurora over Antarctica. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Venus beyond blue. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.